scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. But then for many people, their disappointment is that at the end of all of that program, there is still a void and there is still a barrenness. Are we together now? So they fast. They add fasting to it. I mean... There is no time in the church where men fast and pray as it is right now. Are we together? There are ministries that literally do vigils every day. Every day. Marathon vigils for one month at a stretch. Yet you watch the quality of the believers that are produced from that experience. And it's a cause for concern. There are people who are, I would call them fasting giants. Hallelujah. And there are people who have stretched their human capacity from border to border. I know a man who I prayed for who fasted for seven days dry. Dry fast. I don't mean maybe you take juice later on and then you keep moving. Dry like nothing touches your mouth. Not even a toothbrush. This is how people have stretched in the spirit in an attack to be used by God the highest I've seen in my life is someone who fasted for 400 days 400 days non-stop hallelujah I rounded the 400 day with him and I prayed with him but as far as I know that gentleman is still searching desperately for the power of God till now what then is the missing link please pay attention to what I'm about to teach you because for some of you this will be the key that God will hand to you holy 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 Holy, 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 hallelujah. The latest in the series of the pursuit right now is searching for the vessels that carry the anointing. I mean, once you are anointed, you are in trouble. Everywhere people see you, whether in the market, somewhere, I mean, there are all kinds of skills that are employed from those who fly and hold your leg and say, kill me, but let the anointing drop to those who will drop a seed, those who will use handkerchiefs to clean your shoes. Now, I'm not, I'm not against um, the expressions of their passion, but I'm saying that people are desperate for the power of God and the glory of God but it looks like God is mising the power it looks like there are people who are saying Lord empower me I mean give me this miracle working power this ability and, and, and all of that I know so many pastors so many ministers who cry for the grace and the glory of God upon their lives they want 
his presence to be experienced in their meetings this that i'm about to teach you the lord taught me 10 years ago as the secret of his sustaining presence and power upon the life of a man the lord told me to do this and his presence and his power will remain upon my life and by the grace of god i have followed this thoroughly i have struggled to teach what i'm teaching you people this night because i've taught us that it is wasteful to supply information to people who are not spiritually prepared to receive hallelujah while i saw the gentleman who came and said they came all the way from niger state and the ones from makodi i am very humbled to see what god is doing through these messages within this country and in various parts of the world but there is a secret to it this is what i want us to understand there is nothing that is happening that is a mistake there's nothing that is happening that is haphazard and if you will pay attention to what i'm teaching you please even those who are working workers and all of that do your work but please pay attention to what i'm teaching you hallelujah so why is the power of god absent why is it that god seems to be limited to do business with many people it looks like it, it, it seems like one out of every 1,000 or 10,000 are the ones who are really mightily used by God. I used to think that it was because others were carrying out less or more spiritual exercises. But as I've grown in the things of the spirit, I found out that that's not exactly the reason. Ready for it? Reason number one. reason number one I, I i consider this i consider this to be the fundamental determinant of the entrance of the anointing and the power of god in the life of a man your motif and your motivation your motif and your motivation let me tell you something i have found out over the years that the state of your heart is the greatest determinant of the power and the glory of god upon your life beyond your fasting beyond your prayer beyond night vigils beyond listening to messages as important as those things are the state of your heart overrides them all if you want God to do business with you. Now, so many people, well-meaning people, who want to see the miraculous power of God, they want to be mightily used by God, lack this one thing. The motive and the motivation behind their pursuit is corrupted from beginning. So every activity they carry out is corrupted on the strength of that foundational thing are we together from those who seek god because they want to build a career around ministry those who have applied for jobs and it looks like jobs are not forthcoming and they console themselves by saying let's go to the vineyard and use ministry to build a career corrupted motives are we together to those who desire the anointing to show their family members that they are not failures you were growing up and they told you that you'll be a failure in life and now you're saying lord give me the anointing to show my mother or my stepmother that i'm not a failure as well-meaning as that motif is it is corrupted are we together now that's the reason why you find certain people they seem not to be engaging in as much spiritual activity in terms of physical exertion fasting prayer but it seems like god has so much interest in them he will go beyond their personal spiritual lives to demonstrate his glory upon their life motive your motivation I can tell you this and I tell you sincerely 
eight or nine out of every ten pastors and men of God that call me, send me text messages, sow seeds, and are desperately looking for anointing and grace. Most of them, their motives are corrupted. Are we together? So I can go for 40 days fasting, but God looks beyond the physical activity and he scans and judges my motive. This for me has been the ultimate determinant of the kinds of people that God does business with and that he will do business with in these days. Is God speaking to us? The state of your heart. Let's look at a few scriptures. John chapter 12. Oh come, oh come Emmanuel And ransom captive Israel. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. And ransom captive Israel. Rejoice. Rejoice. Emmanuel has come to us, he's Israel. John chapter 12, it says, And Jesus, six days before the Passover, came to Bethany, where Lazarus, who had been dead, who was raised from the dead, and the Bible says, There they made unto him supper, and Martha served. Follow carefully. But Lazarus was one of them that sat at table. Now let's watch something that happened. And then Mary took a pound of ointment and anointed the feet. The Bible says, Okay, took a pound of ointment of spikenard, pionard, very costly. Take note, very costly. Then the Bible says that she anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. Are we together? And the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. And then something happened. Verse 4. And then one of his disciples, a man called Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, which should betray him, he responded to that act of worship. Verse 5. Why was not this ointment sold for 300 pence and given to the poor? Now watch this. This is part of Jesus' ministerial cabinet. A woman comes and takes from her alabaster box according to one of the gospels and breaks it before his feet. Pure nerd. The Bible tells us it was her wages for one year. And she took it and broke it at his feet and used her hair that is the glory of a woman to wipe his feet. And then when other people, when Jesus was looking at the motivation of this woman, the sincere communication of her appreciation, someone else was looking at the cost implication and the wastage. Are we together? But he never said you wasted this. He tried to angle it in a way that should look like he was concerned about the treasury of the house. Are we together? And this is what he said. Verse 5, please. Let's go back to verse 5. Why was not this ointment sold? So for him, you can still worship Jesus another way. Go and sell it. Bring the money. Let's add to the treasury. But his motive was so that he would have more money to be stealing. Are we together? It was never about Jesus. It was never about his desire to see his master exalted. Are we together now? Judas had no business. Listen, although he was a sincere person, he wanted to use Jesus. The moment he came and found out that there was a flourishing ministry, he looked at it carefully and saw the financial potentials 
that were in that ministry and he strategically positioned himself being elected the treasurer he found out that he could keep motivating people and the more they brought money to the ministry he would help himself so you would see judas at every crusade you would see judas attending to the poor collecting all the seeds to jesus you would look from that experience and say what a zealous man the first to appear in every crusade ground the one to respond to the necessity of jesus but the motive behind it was his belly are we together the next verse verse six this he said not that he what cared for the poor the bible says but because he was a that was his mo the motive he was looking for more money so he could steal so he angled it in a way that made it look like he was having an appetite for god the bible says and he had the back and bear what was put therein in other words if they change judas from being a treasurer to an ordinary disciple and made thomas or peter the new treasurer all of a sudden he would not care about any sacrifice again are we together this is an example of the motive and the motivation behind so many people you would see them pray for the anointing as if they really love sick people you would see them pray for prosperity as though they really really want to help and bless people you would see them fast as they they pray for crowds and you would think they are really compassionate you would think they care so much about the people coming but at the heart of their pursuit is this self-centered demonic and many times satanic motivation are we together now how many men of god use the anointing use members use so many people to boost their ego and when they go around you see pastors gather to talk and you'll be amazed at the content of their discussion have you seen my members have you seen the jeep that this one bought for me there are 20 oil company workers in my church there are senators in my church there are this and that and that i mean we grew from 5000 to 20000 in one year great news but then what is the motivation behind it and so we use those things to scorn others we use those things to command honor when pastors come together the ones who seem to be having results or desirous of results seem to push others and sit in a position of honor that is not given by god motive motivation judas was doing what physically would have been a wise suggestion I can understand his passion because he was in the finance department. Are we together? And so from financially speaking, it would have been a still a worthy way of worship to sell it and bring the money and then the money be given to the poor. But the problem was the motivation behind that statement. Not necessarily what he said. The motivation behind it was wrong. brothers and sisters you can fast all you can you can pray all you can you can carry bottles of anointing oil carry handkerchiefs and mantles go and fly on the man of god's bed and roll there from night till morning when this adjustment of the state of your heart is not in place forget about god doing business with you especially in this end time are we together proverbs chapter 16 verse 2 Solomon who was a wise man said something that is very interesting Proverbs chapter 16 verse 2 is projected he said all the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes but the Lord weighed the spirit can we have any other version just any other available one that renders something differently the Lord tests the motives he judges the content the motivation it says all the ways of a man are pure in his own eyes but the lord weighs the spirit the thoughts and the 
intents of the heart. In other words, if I get up right now and I tell this lady to stand up and I lay hands on her and she falls under the anointing while you are clapping and say, man, this guy is anointed. God is not impressed with that experience until he scans the motive behind it. If the motive behind it was to prove a point to a few people that the anointing is still alive, that experience has been corrupted as far as God's standard is concerned. Are we together? You can raise 10 people from wheelchair and in heaven you raise only one. From the second to the last, the motif cancelled it by zero. Are we together now? Look, when you understand this, you will focus more on motif than physical experiences. Because it's difficult for men to discern because men judge by the outward appearance. How many pastors frustrate themselves? How many people frustrate themselves? They think they want power. They think they want grace. But God has already seen the true content of their hearts. You will think when they are anointed, they will spend their lives serving God. You will think when they are anointed, they spend their lives. Listen, I go for meetings and thank God for the honor here and there different people have their ways of responding and while i step into the meetings to sit down i see all kinds of admiration you see a lot of young people bouncing on the floor happy and just wishing and say oh god give me what you have given this person and i can sense in my spirit the field of their motives they want to be celebrities and since they cannot run like Usain Bolt, since they cannot play tennis like the Williams, they feel ministry is a cheaper route to achieve the same thing. And God says, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Anna wanted a child. I've taught us. She wanted a child so desperately, but her motive was to prove to Penina that she also had a womb. And she kept going to Shiloh to pray and God never had it. Listen, this is very scary. A woman who wanted to prove, she went to the house of God and cried. And God said, it's not enough reason for you to have a child. Until she gave up and said, Lord, this is not about Penina again. I align my will to you. She prayed once and a child came. Once. 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 So many people want crowd they want power they want revelation 80 percent of the text messages that people send to me what is the secret of your anointing what is the secret of your grace what is this thing in these teachings that transform people let me tell you it's beyond prayer it's beyond fasting the motif of your heart is greater is the foundation upon which any true spiritual experience is accepted before God. This already is a deliverance for somebody hearing me. Because it's, it's a call for you to find out. You have been engaging sincerely in many spiritual attempts. But you may never find the power of God until your motive, the state of your heart is arrived. The sincerity and the love that you have for God and his people. The sincerity and the love that you have. How sincere is your motive? As far as God is concerned and the sheep of his pasture. The Bible says a good shepherd lays down his life. He does not stand on the sheep so that they will see him. A good shepherd is not one who prays in tongues. A good shepherd is not just one who walks in miracles. A good shepherd lays down his life, constrains himself, inconveniences himself for the success, the progress. How many pastors do that? How many pastors rejoice that God is lifting people? How many pastors rejoice? You see, when you understand this, you will at once, listen, at once. I remember one time, I think I was, I, I, I don't know where exactly, and we're sitting down and one pastor 
I was talking with a group of pastors and then somebody passed and then they tapped in and said, that's, that's Apostle. The Apostle Joshua Selman, you'll be hearing about that him. And he came around and sat down in less than 10 minutes. This man was telling me, oh, he bought his suit, so, so, so amount. God has been faithful in the ministry. They've been seeing all kinds of explosion. And later I asked the other person, I said, sorry, what is the membership strength of this church we're talking about here? And it was not even up to 35. Are we together now? So you see that this person came and was talking like this in hope to get honor and respect because he has been taught that when you try to create that picture and you package yourself and make it look like, look, I'm an overseer. I'm not just a pastor. I need you to know that I'm overseeing something. You need to realize that there are people under me. There are pastors around. You say, oh, really? We see what God is doing. Please, let me advise you. Get out of those wrong and devilish associations. I'm telling you this. You may be criticized, but it's better to be criticized than do business with God. You never find me in a company of all this rubbish by the grace of God. No. I never look down on any man, whether you are pastoring one church or two churches, and I never give you any unnecessary honor, whether you are pastoring one million people. Are we together now? There are certain people here, if God will give you one-tenth of the anointing you are crying for, God will have to summon prayer warriors to pray for your salvation, not even the church again, just to make sure that your salvation is protected. Are we together? So many people. We have seen many people. Let's use the music industry for instance. We have seen people who when they started, they, they ran around pastors. Pray for me. Give me anointing. Give me this and that. And the moment God lifts them a little, they change in a way that you will not imagine. Are we together now? And you find out that their motivation is no longer the passion for God. It is where honorarium will come, where the paycheck is fattest, is where the Holy Spirit is directing them. Are we together? So if they give you administration in one small youth fellowship, or where there are 30 zealous youths genuinely hungry for God, and they give you another invitation in Victoria Island, where you are flying business class, are we together now? And a Range Rover Sports is what is receiving you from the airport to the hotel. And you sit down and calculate. You say, I've suffered in this life. Even God knows. I've suffered in this life. Then you take all kinds of selfies and snapshots of yourself and send it and write on that God is faithful. God is faithful, yes, but the motive behind that statement is corrupt. What you are really saying is watch my life and be intimidated. You are not saying, you are just using a Christian term. Are we together? motif I watch with pain in my heart because I know that God is still looking for men and women there is no man of God that can bring the revival we are talking about single handedly the best of any man is an effective member God is looking for an army not a person if it looks like there is only one person it's because many people are not ready it's not because God is mising his grace I tell you this So many people praying and crying, use me, oh God, let me change my territory. Use me as an agent of revival. All kinds of people trying to play all kinds of gimmicks to see the power of God come. But when he searches their hearts, he sees that their motives are not right. How many ladies want to marry men of God? You would think it's because they, are, they care about the burden of the vineyard. You would think they love the man and say, Oh God, let me live my life ministering to this man. The way they talk, you will be motivated. You say, You can imagine her passion. Have you eaten, sir? Have you really eaten? Are you okay? 
uh, you have been losing weight these days are you okay but the truth of it is it's not any passion for any sheep is that the last time they checked their television and saw how mama looked mama of whichever ministry it was admirable people will come and kneel down before you and say mommy just speak a word and drop a check and they say if this is what mama represents i'm, I'm up for it i mean i i take it with all gladness and gratitude so it makes the sister to always establish her presence in the prayer meeting when there is bible study the sister is there are we together when there is any fasting program she's there she comes fasting but holds cooler for the pastor now there's nothing wrong with cooler ministry it's very useful ah uh, come on very very useful are we together so that i don't make ladies punish a lot of pastors from do what god has asked you to do to the man of god Are we together? When food finished for Elijah, when Elijah's food finished and water dried, God sent him immediately to a woman to take care of him. So that ministry is very biblical. Are we together? Motivation. How many people in church are looking for ordination and PA? So, and they are the first to come and greet the pastor in the morning pastor how are you i want to tell you what is happening in this church it's like you have been very busy but i've been covering for you i can i can tell you exactly what has been happening the last time you went there is a stubborn lady in the worship team i don't know exactly it's not happening here i can tell you at least not not to this level praise the lord so i can give this example generally speaking and then once you talk you now say pastor uh, there's a message that I prepared. Anytime you are not free, you are busy, I can always stand in for you at the conference or the crusade. You will look at this guy and believe that he's very zealous. The pastor will say, I really have someone covering my back. But it's because this person went and met his uncle and the uncle said the job is not coming. And he sat down and calculated and said, which one is the fastest route to establishment? Masters, PhD, I can start up a business. It will take five years before it will be established. But if I partner with this man, I'm sure that in six months, God will wipe my tears. So he comes. And you will find unusual passion. Are we together? Motive. Whenever you see a man who is very close to the anointing, and never receives it his motive stopped him from receiving that's what happened to Gehazi by the grace of God when you see the heads of departments of this ministry and many people and other people who are connected to this ministry when you look at the life of those who are connected in reality you even those who have never seen my face you will see a reproduction of grace i have met people in meetings i sat down and i thought i was hearing myself i was like my goodness who is this guy but there are others who are around the anointing around but their motive oh look let me tell you something about god he is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents hallelujah Elisha walked with Elijah for a very long time he would have been I mean um, um, Gehazi he would have been prophet Gehazi but you can see his motive one time Naaman came and when Naaman was healed Elisha told him to just go and carry all his goodies and go and Naaman like Judas you see it now Naaman said we can't let this thing just go like that and he ran after him and said wait my master just changed his mind can you offload some of these things i will handle it and when he came back he just kept quiet like nothing happened and elisha looked at him and said was my spirit not with you sometimes members in church are really foolish if a man is really anointed and he can stand on stage and see what is happening in the lives of people what makes you believe he cannot discern your motive are we together when i talk to pastors and i counsel them and they bring me 
problems maybe them assistants um, other people around are fighting I look at them and I say come on now are you not anointed where did you keep the anointing do you drop it just at the altar can you not discern everyone say motif say it again motif your motif and your motivation sincerity is what is lacking in the body of Christ sincerity sincerity of motif is the reason why we have not seen the power of God in our lives sincerity of motif our motifs are perverted our motifs are corrupted I once met a pastor who told me he had met Benny Hinn one on one. When he told me he had met Benny Hinn one on one, I looked at his life and tears wanted to come out of my eyes. He thought it was a testimony. I said, I can't understand. What would I say? He said, Truly, he was in a program. He happened to be like a PA or some not PA but you know those who are see please if you are close to a man of God go back and start examining because proximity is not equal to connectivity you can be the closer you are to a man of God the farther away your chances of truly receiving the anointing because familiarity can step in are we together now Muti. I never get too familiar with the Holy Spirit I love him the Holy Spirit has revealed himself in uncommon dimensions to me but at every point I make sure that that sense of honor that my motif is always a right when I'm praying for a meeting oh Lord I thank you for your power and your glory in this meeting he sees my heart and he knows that I'm not trying to look for a name I'm not trying to look for fame. Are we together? When was the last time? Listen, and I'm talking to all of us, especially for those who are pastors. When was the last time your motif was aright? You see why David was called a man after God's heart? David would say, search my heart. Not search my throne. Search my heart. Try my thoughts. Because my heart can be deceitful. So many people have missed out on the will of God. That's the reason why you find out that in many churches, after a while, people start fighting for the position that is most lucrative. When you call somebody and say, promise, go and work in welfare. Ken, work in prayer department. Mama, work in ushery. Mama says, ushery. It's me now that you are giving ushery. This guy is in prayer department. At least the honorarium, there's a possibility of honorarium coming. Welfare, there's no possibility of any honorarium coming. Are we together? Have you seen people lobby for positions in church? You've seen that happen? This is the reason. They find, you know how a funnel is. When you pour water, the funnel moves in a direction. And so they discern where the money or the honor is flowing. And they leech themselves around that place. And God sees their hearts. Says your motif is corrupted. I like you to in a very sincere way. Listen. Cry out and ask the Lord to search your motif for desiring his presence. For desiring the anointing for desiring crowd for desiring revelation for desiring fame you want miracle power is up for grabs but the question is what is your motivation are we together very important come and make 
my heart your home come and be everything i am and all i know search me through and through till my heart becomes a home for you come and make my heart your home come and be everything i am and all i know Search me through and through till my heart becomes when was the last time you listened to a man of God his prayer content and you had him praying and crying for the sheep oh God bless these people oh God increase them if it means that you don't lift me and you lift them, go ahead, oh God. Sincere motive. Sincere desire. Oh God, I'm a shepherd. They can die, but let me live. That's the prayer of many people. That's the attitude of many people. I pray for you. May God touch your motive and bring you to a point where you are very sincere. Many people watch Johnson Suleiman and watch all the prophets who move in very uncommon levels of the revelatory dimensions of prophecy. And you see the desire. You see the desire. You, I mean, you see the hunger. Every time they say a man of God is coming to town, you see so many people, they go and sit in front. You would think they want the anointing for a clean motive. sincerity that's what i shared with the pastors i told them many of you are not sincere it shows it shows in your discussions it shows in your your secret lives that you really do not love the sheep it shows that you don't care about them every time i come in for koinonia and i see crowds of people and i see people standing if I see just one person standing, I can feel it in my heart. Sometimes I'm almost quarreling the protocol department and they say, look, we are doing our best. There is only so much we can do. I, I feel as though I should stand and let the people, I, I just would not interrupt the work of the various departments, but I see it. Especially when we are done and I see people leaving and where we are going and I see some people trekking in groups happily through the night my heart is moved listen compassion is a big key to walking in the anointing compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people it's the secret to the anointing are we together if Sam is sick right now and I come to Sam and I lay hands on Sam and Sam is not healed. I lay hands on Sam and Sam is not healed. I will carry Sam by myself to Shika because I am so interested in his healing my ego notwithstanding. But a pastor who is more concerned about his ego would rather leave Sam to die. Are we together? So that it will be through his hand. How many pastors have quarreled members for receiving miracles in other places aside from their church? Are, are we together? How many people will dare not give a testimony about what God used another man of God to do in their life before the overseer? He says, so you are trying to say I'm not anointed. Now, honor your man of God. Respect him. Don't come and cause trouble between pastors. But at the same time, any man who is desperate for change in people will celebrate that change even if it does not come through him because the most important thing is that the people have received many of the testimonies we give in our churches 
were not carried out by the hands of many of the pastors that's the truth about it but it's just that the people know if they testify and say the whole truth the pastor will note in fact it's not even the pastor there is already a system to punish disloyalty are we together motif motif and some of us in our little groups and fellowships is already happening to us right now the moment somebody comes and says wow god bless me with this revelation and it did not come from you all of a sudden you start looking and say how oh, are we sure it's correct let me see it motif if what you want is celebration and being a celebrity if that is your prime if you just want celebrity please go and act for him if you want the anointing if you want to serve God genuinely your heart must first be to him and to the sheep of his pasture I worship you great I am you are mighty in this place I worship you King of Kings you are the strong and breasted one I lift my hands in worship as I see praises to your name I lift my hands in worship as I see praises to your name. Listen, you must love God and align your motif. I say it again align your motif for desiring the gifts of the Spirit align your motive for desiring power you want access to revelation align your motive align your motive motive is the core behind the dispensing of graces unto people what is the state of your heart I know you are well-meaning but what is the state of your heart sister it's not like God cannot give you a great man of God to marry but what is the motive behind your heart if the motive of your heart is to serve God and to stand by that man to be a blessing to partner with him to lift up the banner of Christ in the nations I guarantee you God will not withhold it from you but if your motivation is that you just sit down and just smile around and look like you are more than other ladies and so Ankara and all of this you will never let me just tell you you don't even have to pray about it I'll help you answer the prayer now it will never happen that way because God is not a fool I want you to know that kingdom advancement is a serious business to God he gave the blood of his very son for it and so anyone playing games with the anointing closely related to this i want to share with all of us a big secret before we go to point two. i began to pray recently and i was asking the lord why many miracles that happen to people in the body of christ don't last and the lord showed me something that scared me i want to share with you this everybody say money shout it say mammon the Lord taught me a mystery that I want all of us. Please open your eyes and let me teach you something. Watch this. If I'm holding money, so I have your attention now. Come, sir. Watch this. If Michael is sick or in need of breakthrough or he's trusting God to wipe his tears in any area, are we together now? and then he comes to meet me as a man of god and i tell him michael give me one thousand naira and i will pray for you 
and I will sow a seed. I guarantee you in the name of the Lord Jesus, you just cancel that spiritual transaction. Anointing will never, has never been an instrument in exchange for money. Are we together now? I can bless him. Listen, let me tell you why many people, especially many young pastors and young prophets, are fro their, their lives look like they are fake. Some of them are not fake. The truth is that they are violating this law because you never buy the power of God. No, sir. Is God speaking to us? I can bless him and he decides to sow a seed into my life. He can use the money and buy a tape or buy a book. A pastor can challenge people in the church to sow seeds for a project. That's all right. But where the money is in direct demand so that you will supply anointing is called witchcraft. If you are doing it here, stop it now. Let me tell you. Now, stop it. Not later. Now, stop it between you and God. Let it never happen. You will never see the power of God that way. Remember in the book of Acts, the gentleman who wanted to buy power from Peter and he said, your money perish with you. Pastors have reduced themselves and reduced the potency of the anointing of the spirit. I know we need money. Ministries need money. Don't get me wrong. I know. I know that pastors need money. They have families. But not to compromise with the anointing. The anointing will bring you money. Big time. People will surprise you. But it's not going to be this way. Are we together? All those things where you carry offering basket. And as I heal you, you drop your own. Whether you call it free will or whatever, if it came in demand for the anointing brothers and sisters if you ever saw result it was the mercy of god not a justification of what happened this is one thing that i've seen that is eating people in the church you do not use the anointing for merchandise no you will be blessed you will be changed look let me tell you bless people and allow them to decide to honor you they will surprise you how much can i charge you for a breakthrough how much can i charge you for miracles let's assume that you receive a breakthrough and then you i ask you to pay me ten thousand twenty thousand let's even assume that i ask you to pay me fifty thousand and you bring it i have received wages not favor wages but by the time I bless you and I leave you to the God that sent me, he himself will move you and you will come with one million naira, ten times what I would have demanded and you will bless me. It's impossible to be a true servant of God and bless people without God moving them to bless you. It's no, it never happens. If nobody is blessing you, it's because your anointing is not notable enough. Are we together? This is one of the reasons why many people are rushing into ministry. Because it seems like it's working. Someone gets into ministry and in four months, he has ten jeeps. He raised offering for himself. And ten people gave, and there are rich people. You see, people are desperate. So whatever I said, I beg, please take the jeep and heal me. I'm tired of all this trouble. But God is watching. And you find out that they rise and never get to certain levels. And God says, I can't take you international with this attitude. You will misrepresent me. Your motive is corrupted. There have been times when people have sown seeds in this ministry especially seeds of kinds and when they bring it because i never use them but i just bless them and we release it sometimes we give it to people sometimes we honor the workers with it i look at it when i see maybe especially gadgets or some things and i find out that it's very expensive 
and we get to find out that the owner most probably is a student or whatever i'm even moved and i say ah this is a student probably the parents bought this for him we appreciate the sincerity but i have not once not twice i've asked the protocol department look for the owner of this and bring and i pray for the person bless the person and give the person the gift back for many of us your hand is in a mode to collect consistently it doesn't matter how it comes no that's not the way god blesses people in the kingdom is god helping us to examine motives motives how many pastors have trouble rich men in their church visitations every day you would think the visitation is because of brotherly love what sort of brotherly love you pass 12 members who are your members but because you know that you will take kunu or zobo or or maybe um whatever it is they just find something or cold water that is not honoring enough and then you go and keep inconveniencing some other people and tell them look uh i came with a word this word is very strategic let me see a seed i, I need a seed to, to provoke the anointing the anointing is provoked yes but it's provoked out of revelation, not demand. Are we together now? It is true that you can bring a seed to a man of God. When Isaac was going to bless his sons, he said, make me venison. This was talking to, it was a fatherly blessing. It's not just that he was saying, come and buy my anointing with venison. He was saying, honor me with it. I've taught you the law of honor. But this thing of demanding money for power. Anytime, listen. It's not even every giving that is worth collecting. When you discern that that giving is like selling your birthright, you honorably decline. There are people who give you in such a way that the day you, as you collect it, you throw away your honor. Preserve the, how much is 10 naira? How much is 20 naira? Tea and bread. And you lose everything because of it. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Don't get into that attitude of wanting to buy anointing i hate the way we talk about money all the time in church it, it can, i mean have you seen men of god who preach a very solid message solid message and when the spirit of the people are lifted it, it just now coins they say in conclusion there's a story and uh, immediately the people start getting uncomfortable because they know where he's going to. Say, I can't end this, this meeting without you hearing this story. Because this story would demand a, a response. There was a man. And then so on and so forth. And they tell you all the story. And at the end of it, the man now says, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all of that. And um, you, I'm going to bless you stand here with five thousand not if god is leading you or if you are led to sow ten thousand you you are a rich man you can't bring five thousand for me stand here with ten thousand and the moment you start doing that you may not be fake but you are driving the, the, the fire of god from your life and if you don't take time it will become ichabod the departure of the glory that's why certain men of god eventually you find out that the grace of God just diminishes in their life. You would think they did not visit the Baba they used to visit. It's not Baba anything. It's just scriptural principles that they have violated. Say in the name of Jesus, I receive grace to be sincere and to be true. I open up my heart and I ask the Spirit of the Lord to examine my motive. How many people pray for hours because they are trying to intimidate others? They are tired though, but because they saw another colleague, they fire on. On a very good day, they would have rested if the person is not there. I've seen people who pray and they are sleeping. Once they hear the door, they just stop. To mean you should come and see me. In the... Look, 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 look. Don't play games with the anointing. You must be true if you want the power of God. Number two. Shiba 
you want to carry the glory of God upon your life, your level of passion and hunger for God, your level of passion and hunger, There's a song in my spirit. She's your mentor now. Come and sing it if you know. Spirit, lead me where my truth. Let me walk upon the waters. You know the song? That's the song that is in my spirit. Sing it to him. In the presence of my Savior, Spirit, lead me where my feet are born. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you will call me. Take me deeper than my feet will ever wander. Sing it one more time with all your heart. Where my trust for you is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters. Your level of passion and hunger. Brothers and sisters, seeking God is a full-time pursuit. There's nothing like part-time seeking God. Are we together? No, you don't seek God part-time. You don't seek God with your spare time, sorry. You don't seek God with the remaining time you have. After you make money, after you marry, after you give birth to children, the balance of it, you now say, oh yeah, God, take. No, no, no. The jealousy of God fights anything that is above him. Even if it's what he gave you, he will still fight it. Listen, God can give you a thing that he will still fight it tomorrow. The moment it rises above him, his jealousy begins to fight it immediately. When the Bible says God is a jealous God, take that word very seriously. Your passion. Psalm 42 verse 2. Listen. Pursuit is the proof of passion. Pursuit is the proof of passion. Every time you have passion towards anything, you will seek it and pursue it unsupervised. Unsupervised. Do you know why the Christianity of many believers is cold and lukewarm? Let me tell you the truth. They do not have passion for God. My soul thirsted for God. For the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? This is the psalmist. A psalm communicating passion. Are we together? If this is my wife. If this is my wife, watch this. And I travel for two days. If I'm not a foolish and a stupid man, what should happen to me while I'm away? If I really love her and I'm passionate, I should miss her, Abby. When I'm about coming, what should happen when I see her? Will I just pass and say, how are you? I'm back. You know there's something wrong immediately. Are we together? When relationship and fellowship is in place, I should run and give her a big hug and say, sweetheart, I missed you. How are you? Jesus me. What has happened? Passion. If a call is coming, I ignore the call because I'm trying to communicate passion. If you must be prompted to love God and to seek God, it's because you are not passionate enough. Anything you are passionate about, you have time for it. 
my brother that's why this night after koinonia as late as it is you are still going to escort the lady to her room the reason is because you have passion are we together there are brothers after koinonia right now they will even enter boss there is a fire they themselves cannot explain they say let's go what is boss is it will kill the time we have for our discussion and the lady stands brothers and sisters from here to north gate will look like five minutes and they say we're even here that's passion but let let me tell you to escort somebody you know i mean a man let me ask you to escort your colleague by the time you get to that shop you say are you biking or we are walking because you love the person jesus brotherly love but there is no passion that fire is not there have you seen a lady 12 30 the guy is shaking and he says let me try flashing her he flashes once and she pity say i'm sorry let me start by apologizing say for what say I, you, you sound sleepy say i was just stretching but the truth is she was sleeping everybody say passion say fire that's the name of that experience if you don't have that thing listen listen if as you're sitting down right now this is not your feeling for god you need a retreat i'm telling you the truth it's a sign don't wait until you see any demon or anybody chasing you in a dream you need a retreat very quickly fire that's what it takes there must be an obsession that's the word really if you are not yet obsessed about god forget about his power in your life it must be an obsession and by the way let me digress to help you test whether you are ready for marriage with the same feeling if you love the man and the woman in a lesser sphere careless easily replaceable attitude please seek counsel because you are about to get into trouble are we together it takes passion and fire to give excuses have you seen people who have passion for anything they give excuses watch how people act and treat football man you is about to play match 3 30 by two o'clock the person is there with singlet already arguing are we together arguing one hour before the time and then they sit down in the place of argument and they say if you did not start watching football from 1993 don't join us because you don't even know what it we need somebody with a historical perspective and they're arguing and the person is mentioned it's called passion the moment the match starts the person is in front sweating but remaining there thirsty but remaining there are we together a point comes there are guys there are ladies who will still remove his shirt and say i'm not going out this sweat we will die here with this sweat i must watch this match it's called passion now come to the house of god and see the coldness the coldness the coldness when an average believer tries to show that i'm a little serious with god we just say pastor are we together or oh, mama it's a shame Bless you. it's a big shame that we even resent people for being passionate about god until your love for god make someone around you uncomfortable you don't love god enough yet that someone can look at you and say Kai, oh, well carry your madness and leave my presence every champion is a fanatic of whatever he's excelling in are we together let's as fair lukewarm attitude in everything is even why people fail generally in life there is nothing in life that is worth their unflinching pursuit i'm chasing after you no matter what you know the song i will keep bringing songs that i in my spirit i don't know the song so much but if you can help me any one of you if you don't know it i'm chasing after you no matter More and more, more and more, more and more, more and more, more and more. 
important. To what degree do you seek him? Let me tell you something. God has become my obsession. When I say an obsession, I don't know what he has done to me. But I pray he will do it to you. Amen. Believe me. Believe me. It's an obsession. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. It's an obsession. You must get to that point. Before you want a man's anointing, you must meet the standard of his level of hunger for God. No. Anointing does not just flow carelessly. Don't you think because you are touching something? No. No. Bishop Oyedeko said the secret of um, the hand of God upon his life is his heart beat for God. More and more. 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 Psalm 69 verse 9 let me show you something very powerful there is a term I've seen in the Bible but I've hardly studied it hardly studied it but I studied it recently and I was amazed everyone read Psalm 69 verse 9 want to read for the zeal of thine house had eaten me up and the reproaches of them that reproach you have come upon me listen let me explain to you what this means. The zeal of the house of God has so eaten me to an extent I have become the same way they reproach God. They have transferred their resentment towards God to me because I have sought God so much I am the closest expression to him that they can see. So the anger they have for him, they have transferred it for me. That's how much I love him. hallelujah are we together it says the zeal this was a prophecy about jesus christ the zeal of thy house has consumed me the zeal of thy house that a man can be so consumed with the things of god he has nothing to do with whether you are called into the ministry or not zeal the zeal of the lord's house makes you pursue him ruggedly listen listen when was the last time you woke up in the night and you could not sleep again because you are thinking about the kingdom you are thinking about his majesty something about him now you have me and now i'm forever changed i've abandoned everything i've ever known now i surrender my life is not mine you are everything everything is you you are everything everything is you you are the first, the last, beginning and the end. In you I live and have my being. There is absolutely nothing you can do. absolutely nothing compares to you i don't know the other part but you are everything you are everything. everything is you everything. you are everything everything is you sing it to him from your heart he is everything is everything everything is you. Is you are everything. Everything is you. You are everything. Everything is you. Until you love God more than money, 
until you love him more than wife, more than husband, more than academics, more than job, more than promotion, more than children, you are not entitled to the glory of God upon your life. The zeal in John chapter 2 from verse 17, when they saw the way Jesus was walking and the way he was doing the things in the ministry and flogging people out of the temple, they remembered that the zeal of the Lord, zeal is like an anointing. It will drive you into places you never dreamt you will go. Zeal. The same way you see a brother standing in the rain and rain is beating him and he says, sorry, why are you here? He says, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for grace. He says, is it compulsory? It's late. He says, please. If you will not support my agenda, leave this place. Because the rain is not in. Say, what is rain? Am I sick? It's called zeal. If you do not have that for the house of God, you don't love him. If coming for koinonia does not drive you, do you know? Every Friday is like a wedding day for me. I literally, as I sit down here, many of you would have noticed. I get blessed by the worship team, but I can't wait for them to finish their rendition for me to jump up and come. It's called zeal. I've been doing this for years. If I were pretending it, you would know it by now. There are times that I come directly from a meeting to Koinonia, but the passion and the fire is there. Food or no food. I pray for you that the zeal of the Lord will eat you up. That it will consume you. That it will make you passionate so that when you get a job you will not leave him are we together so that when you marry you will not leave him so that when you no longer have prayer points do you know it is possible god will solve your problem there is no personal prayer point what then will you do when he solved everything the reason why many people are drawing after him i'm telling you this sincerely is because of the load of problems they have If God solves all your problems, will you still seek him? If, there, if you're coming for miracle service, it's just to bring the prayer request of others. Will you still love him? I can understand why you love him because you need him for your defense next week. You need him for graduation. You are trusting you will manipulate the results in a way that you will leave it in peace. So I can understand your sin. But what happens? Listen. You always know those who never had zeal for God by their commitment after God meets their needs. Not before he meets it. After. When a lady is looking for a husband desperately, I can understand why you are around for night vigil. But what if a husband comes? And a rich one. And then, one month after your marriage you are pregnant, every testimony you want has been given. And to hell with God until another problem comes. Shade is here with her kids, raising them. She's been like this for many years in this ministry, way before marriage. Raising her kids. Her son is very interesting. He can mimic me almost verbatim. This boy you are seeing. Take it! Or this and that, and in his own little way, but he's growing. Some of us, it took the grace of God to drag you back to the house of God. The money you got before has finished. So you came. You, you came in the name of thanksgiving, but the truth is, you are only thanking God because you are aware that in the next two weeks, whether you thank him or not, there's going to be a problem. And so you have come to the house of God. I love him whether he answers my prayer or not. I love him whether he ever anoints me or not. Koinonia is too small a reason for me to love God. The results in my life are too small a reason. Fall in love with him to that extent. I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you. Again and again, I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you. 
I keep falling in love with you again and again. I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you again and again. Falling in love with you. Falling in love with you Falling in love with you Again and again Psalm 63 Verse 1 and 3 Falling in love with him Fall in love with him And you will see his power in your life In remarkable ways Fall in love with him genuinely Beyond the need for things. Give me tea. Give me bread. Fall in love with him genuinely. And I'm telling you, you will see God answer your thoughts before they become prayer points. Psalm 63. Oh God, thou art my God, not our God, my God. Early, early. I'm so passionate about you. When I wake up, you are my obsession. And so I seek you early. My soul thirsts for thee. My body, my flesh longs after you. Do you know lust is a corruption of passion that should have been directed towards God? Lust. Lust. What you call lust. Immorality. Lost is misdirected and corrupted passion that would have been channeled appropriately to the rightful owner. But because the person is standing where God is, so you direct that passion towards the person. It says, My flesh longed for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Oh God, you are my God. I seek you early. I don't give you the remaining of my time. I don't give you the remaining of my time. When I do what I think is important in my life, then I carry the balance of the time and bribe God with it. And say, okay, Lord, please, so that I, you, don't, you save me from the guilt of feeling like I'm not seeking you. Most times when I go back after koinonia, after everyone is done and I'm eating, I go down my knees and sometimes I cannot even sleep again. I just sit down and I begin to meditate on his faithfulness. And sometimes I can just begin to play worship songs and his presence, his presence, his literal Shekinah will fill that room. Fill that room. There is a secret. There is a secret. Do you love him or do you want to use him? God does not want an affair. He wants a relationship. I've told you. God does not want an affair with you. You can have an affair with a prostitute. You can have an affair with your wife. You have a relationship with your wife. An ongoing, continual relationship. But you can meet a prostitute for one night and never see her. Not even know how her face looks like. God does not want an affair. Many of us are giving him an affair. I tell you the truth. Tonight, God is calling us to the place of power. Calling us to the place of power. Number three, the third key to carrying the glory of God. Can we just pray in one minute? I just feel that we should just, just pray in tongues just for one minute. Just to open up our spirits so that we don't trivialize this that we have done. and I long to worship you. Oh, you, oh, Lord, are my heart's desire and I long to worship
I want to talk about the third point, but the Holy Spirit is stopping me. Because these points that I've said enough, God wants to do something in our midst. This thing has pleased the Lord. This thing I have taught. I know when the Lord is pleased over something. Would you just pray and just pray in the Spirit? This is well pleasing to the Lord tonight. It's an incense of worship. It's a call for us to return back to that place. Would you dance with me, oh lover of my soul, to the song of all songs? Would you dance with me, oh? song of all songs Would you dance with me your lover of my soul to the song of all songs Would you The voices would you dance with me oh lava of my soul to the song of all oh he can make your ministry powerful I tell you would you dance with me Lava of my soul to the song of all songs. Would you dance with me? One more time. Yeah. Would you dance with me? The love around my soul. Hallelujah. Listen. This is the secret of my life. I love him and I pursue him I seek him as a job I seek his presence as a full time assignment let me tell you the secret of power beyond your fasting and your prayer have a genuine motive no matter how wrong you are let your motive be true no matter what you don't know let your motive be true your motive is greater than your actions your motives are stronger than your actions and then seek him seek him you will see more miracles in your life by the act of his love listen 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 if these two kids are my children by the time i'm done you may not have the kind of access you want to see me is that true because you are coming to apostle joshua selman but if these are my children, they have no business with apostle. All they know is father. Are we together? They can watch you join a queue and just run. You see how our children come after Koinonia here. They don't come and join any line. They just pass you and rush to come and hug me. 
they are coming to hug their father. They have no business with whether whatever. To them, it's not apostle. To them, it's someone they love. Take away the unnecessary religion and the unnecessary formality. Come into that inner chamber of the spirit where only lovers come. Pass the place where prayer warriors talk. Pass the place where fasting giants stop. Pass the place where word carriers stop and enter the inner chamber. It's a place where only lovers enter. Even prayer warriors don't enter that chamber. Even fasting giants don't enter. The Bible says no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and it has not occurred in the heart of any man what God has in store for them that love him. Them that are obsessed listen you will be sleeping in the night and his majesty will come and wake you and open you up to mysteries while someone else is fasting god takes his prayer point and gives you as a token of his love listen in 2000 and i think was it six now or so i had a vision and when i had a vision that was the first time that I saw a manifestation of the angel that walks with me. He's called the angel of the Lord's presence. Hallelujah. I have seen three of these beings. There is one, the name is Zion's help. That's the name of the angel. The helper of Zion. These are the angels that bring breakthrough. These are the angels that bring results. I, God is my witness. I cannot remember fasting and praying to say open my eyes give me prophetic oh i'm just madly in love with him lord i don't know what you have done to me but i'm in love with you and god says i see your obsession and he says let me test that love what is it that you cannot give me and i say lord the stage is yours carry it whatever you think in my life is standing your place take it and god says truly i see the proof of love is that there is no there is no hiding anything are we together the apex of love between a husband and wife is intimacy being naked and unashamed are we together if you do not get to that point where you can be open to God and naked and unashamed there is deceit somewhere in your relationship if I'm going out with you and I password some messages in my phone and I'm afraid of you accessing it. Listen, confusion is a sign that a deceiver is present. Are we together? Genuine passion. We are going to pray. God is going to visit us very briefly. But we are going to pray. To worship you I live. To worship you I live. I live to worship you. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. What it is, it must wait. Lord, give me you. Relationship can wait. Jobs can wait. Anointing can wait. Give me you. Yeah. Give me you. Everything else can wait. I 
Alléluia. Alléluia. In the next five to ten minutes, there will be a very strange impartation in this place. This is why the Lord stopped me. And listen, aside from several activations that will happen, one of the major impartations that will happen in this place is the anointing to fall in love with God in strange ways. Listen, listen, many of you, what will happen to you tonight, it will become as if you have become a madman. Something will come upon you. Something will come upon you in dramatic dimensions, proportions that you have never seen. It's a dimension of love. I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you. Falling in love with you. Again and again. I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you again and again. I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you. Falling in love with you. One more time. Yeah, I keep falling in love with more than ministry more than the desire for power more than the desire for fame and greatness lift your hands I tell you something mighty will happen to you the zeal of the Lord 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 Ta, 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 ta. The zeal of the Lord will consume you. It will eat you up like a cancer. As I begin to sing, it will be like an impartation from my left to my right and outside. It's like an initiation. To a realm of love. And I, I, I'm desperate for you. Go ahead, oh great one, and bring your seal upon people. And I, I pray let a strange anointing fall upon your people at the count of three there will be mighty impartation love for God it will come heavy upon you one two three take it now take it now take it right now right now right now right now right now everywhere in this place take it right now fire is a fire and a seal for God is a fire and a seal for God a fire a passion for the house of God a passion for the things of God Just a few minutes there's an impartation happening to you your love for God must be real it must be genuine it must be genuine it must be genuine ask him to give you a baptism of love for him love for his house
Lord, let there be an awakening in the hearts of your people. Cry for the zeal of the Lord to come upon you. Lord, let your zeal consume me. Let your zeal consume me. Let your zeal consume me. your hands lift your hands I hear my spirit visions and dreams visions and dreams a mantle for visions and dreams prophetic encounters that will take you to the secret place Lord right now where are those people let that mantle fall upon them visions and dreams take it now take it now take it now take it now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus visions and dreams you will hear his voice in the night visions and dreams Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm here in my spirit, spiritual accuracy. Spiritual accuracy. Especially for people in ministry. Please lift your hands. Something mighty will happen. God is about to end confusion. In lives and myths. There is a mystery of spiritual accuracy. My God, I pray right now. Like a mantle like an anointing that gives precision as many people who are supposed to walk in this wherever they are in the name of Jesus visit them right now 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 you reign you ancient Zion's king Kadosh Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Oh, sing, thou fountains of the deep, cry out, Kadosh. You 
are mighty on your throne. You are mighty on your throne. You are mighty on your throne. You are mighty on your throne. You are mighty on your throne. You are mighty on your throne. You are mighty on your throne. When your motive is right and true and when you seek him with your all like the deer pants after the water pool, unashamedly unembarrassingly then the stage is clear for you to cast true fire then the stage is clear for you to carry a mantle that no man can deny I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it when it's all about you. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you, Lord. It's all about you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. I want those who came visiting to come out. I want to minister to them those who came visiting specifically from maybe other places pastors and all of that I usually don't do this I want you to stand with your heart hungry and desperate hungry and genuinely desperate to go back with an encounter carry something heavy believe me they will carry a strange order of grace help them they will carry something mighty that you will take back to your regions strange levels of fire and anointing deep fountains of encounters Your majesty, I be your seat. Stretch your hands towards them as I lay my hands on them. Father, let something come upon our visitors in the name of Jesus Christ. As I lay my hands on you, something mighty comes upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Take it and go with it. Fire 
upon your spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Go back with strange grace. Everybody say, I believe. You must believe and receive your miracle by faith. Mark 11 verse 24. Jesus say, What? So things ever ye desire when you pray it says believe that you have received it there is a difference between receiving and having it says oh i thought they projected it believe that you receive then you will have it receiving is of the spirit having is the experiential manifestation it says when you pray you must believe receive it it is yours in the now listen the bible says receive and have therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire what do you desire tonight whatsoever miracle you desire whatsoever breakthrough whatsoever deliverance you desire it says when you pray believe that is yours Believe it. Receive it. Receiving is by faith. Receiving is by faith. It's not a physical reality. You don't receive physically. You receive by faith. Then you will have it. In the glory I will stand I will stand and I will lift my hand in the glory we receive every miracle you have for us it's in the glory Tonight we stand We will stand And we will lift our hands Sing your glory We will receive Every miracle you have Listen you will never have in the physical what you do not receive in the spirit. Are you listening to me? You will never have in the physical what you do not receive. It said when you pray, it is a belief you have. That will be lying. Believe you receive and you will have it. Number four. You must take action. Listen. We call koinonia intimacy. But not just intimacy. Partnership. A participation with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It's not entirely left to God to change your situation. It's not entirely left unto you. The Bible says, listen to me. That when they came to Jesus Christ, Jesus came and went to a pool called Bethesda that had five porches and the bible says he saw a man who had been laid there for 38 years hallelujah when he saw that man he told him that would he want to be healed and the man was grumbling and complaining and he did not bring his miracle are you listening to me grumbling and complaining does not produce miracles hallelujah and the Bible says that Jesus told him, John 5, verse 1 to 9. You can read it. It says, take up thy bed. Hold on. How can Jesus tell a crippled man to take his bed? It is a people assist him. He said, you, stand up, take your bed. 
and walk home. In other words, if you believe me to be powerful enough, take action. Faith is not faith until there is an action. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 3. Paul, I mean Peter and John, on their way to prayer, the hour of prayer, the Bible says, and then they saw this crippled man from birth sitting at the gate beautiful hallelujah acts chapter 4 verse 1 to 9 and the bible says that he looked unto them expecting to receive arms he did not know that his time of visitation had come and peter said silver and gold we have not he said but such as we have see there are people that have something let me tell you something not everybody is a noise maker there are people that have something it's an election of grace at what point did peter know he had something because the last time the bible tells us he was sinking he was not sure he had something but now he said uh -uh, it's not peter something i have something and such as i have give i he said in the name of jesus Oh, this is the inheritance of the believer. In the name of Jesus. He said, rise up. Do you know the man did not stand? He was just looking because there was no action. The Bible says, listen, this sign shall follow. It will not go before them. It will follow. The signs follow. They do. Listen, your faith initiates signs and wonders. The woman with the issue of blood began to speak she said this is my conclusion if only i can touch the hem of his garment i don't care who is going to stop me hallelujah and the bible says peter helping his faith to work held his hands and lifted him and the bible says and he leaping stood hallelujah as the word of God comes don't sit down wondering that's the time to say thank you Jesus that's the time to celebrate that's the time to check yourself check the tumor don't say I don't want to embark no that devil that has been oppressing you as the word of God comes you receive it and you begin to take action this is the last time that terminal disease I wave you goodbye you are gone for good. Partnership. Hallelujah. How many of us are ready to receive tonight? I know that God is going to do mighty things. It's going to be very, very fast. Very, very, very fast. Hallelujah. Very, very fast. Ushers, if it's possible please start collecting the prayer request because we don't want an interruption if you don't believe prayers are answered in this place please don't write anything you will not go to hell i will reverence you lord I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence. I will reverence Lord. Hallelujah. Please pass your prayer request to the last person by your side. Ushers coordinate them. Let's do it quickly. Hallelujah. Please pass it quickly. So we bow as we enter the throne room. Lord.
Lord, we cast ourselves down at your feet. For you are holy, thou art holy. There is none like you. For in your presence, that is where I must be. He's healing everyone in obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The one who does these great things. Tonight let no man be worthy of praise. Let no man be worthy of honor. Alpha Omega for the things that you will do in this place I give you praise because you always hear me whenever I call him he will answer me Elijah called on him and he answered him the apostles called on him and he answered them this is why i know whenever i call on you you will answer me listen let me teach you something before i begin to minister you can never be more confident than your secret place will give you are you listening to me the secret place is the place of authentic power the confidence of a believer is in the derivative of your knowledge the bible says let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength it says but let him that glory at glory in this that he knoweth and understandeth me I know that there are many men and women of God here who have come from different places to catch the fire. And this is why I'm saying this. Listen, this is not about jamboree. There is a real person called the Holy Ghost. He's not a myth. Listen, you will never be able to walk in miracles until you believe in the reality of this personality. That he can find expression in the midst of his people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus saw tears and wheat. And he gave us a verdict. He said the enemy has done this. Can I announce to you that there is a devil that will not relent over your destiny until you put him where he belongs. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. And then the sons of Jacob after that deliverance will possess oh there is no possession until there is a separation between light and darkness hallelujah all the powers of darkness 
that have tormented you while I prayed the Lord opened my eyes and I saw a lot of torments that are keeping people where they are listen the Lord told me something he said for everyone I was talking with my sister earlier on and she was just sharing her desire to receive and I, I went to the Lord about it and the Lord said that all you need to do tonight that's what he was telling me he said if you speak it I will confirm it that's what God told me hallelujah when God told me I started writing a list of the issues I know in people's lives because I've been receiving text messages some of you sent me text messages angry about some situations and my God told me he said if you will speak it I will do it tonight I tell you the truth and I lie not believe the Lord he will surprise you tonight please listen there are some of you I must say this when we mention your case or any issue that has to do with you please don't waste the time of others hallelujah don't waste the time of others struggling and then coming very shabby very complacent we'll just jump you is that agreed because we want to see how we can use the few minutes we have to really do a quick walk in our life hallelujah thank you jesus lift your hands as we worship you see the rain of your love feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear just lift your hands i didn't ask you to Feel the rain of your love See the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear We see the rain of your love Feel the wind of your spirit Please lift your hands When I begin to sing let it rain there will be deliverances. Let us hear, so let it rain. Or shall spring them out. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. The power of the Holy Ghost. Moving across this building. Yeah. Let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open Hallelujah. I see a lot of chains. Chains. Demonic oppressions. The power of God is already moving. But we are going to shout the name Jesus. Listen. Listen. Every time the Lord shows me this, I see angels. And I see the movement of the angelic right now. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Many of you will literally feel like electricity running through your body. And those devils, there is no hiding place tonight. Are you listening to me? How many of you believe? There is no hiding place tonight. There is no hiding place. At the count of three, my God, you will confirm your word. Everyone under any yoke, any spell, any enchantment, at the count of three, let the power of God bring such a one inside and outside. Let the angels of the Lord Move at the count of three. Are you ready to shout now? One, two, three. Oh, shake that I cast out devils. Go, 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 the power of darkness show back let the fire of the Holy Ghost let the fire 
of the Holy Ghost. Fall. Let the fire bring her. Leave her, leave her, leave her. Leave her. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost. Show Satan, get lost. Satan, get lost. some of you you will run out here by the influence of the Holy Ghost no man will stop you by the influence of the Holy Ghost is the fire of God it will happen to some people from outside outside the fire of God is falling and even inside but I want you to know as I begin to chant in the spirit there's no hiding place for any devil tonight so can take a parata Lord, let your power move. Every power, every force of darkness. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it fall. I release the fire. Leave them, leave them, leave them, ushers. Leave them alone. You will come out. By the power of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out. Hallelujah. Now, there are some of you that see men come to sleep with you in dreams and oppress you. They call it spirit husband and spirit wife. I don't care what the name is. Right now, there is fire. Lift your hands, everybody. Responsible for failure. Responsible for delay. Listen. Listen. At the count of three, the Lord showed me in a vision. This one will hit many people. Tonight is a night of deliverance. Many of you do not know this is what is responsible for your setback. I already see angels standing in front and outside. Listen, it's going to, you, know, you will not be able to stand it. It's a fire. Are you ready now? At the count of three, some of you will not finish shouting Jesus. Lord, I pray. You said if I can speak it, you will do it. I stand under this apostolic unction. Every manifestation of the devil at the count of three. One, two, three. Go for Joshua. Reckless. Go for Yeta. 
the son of God made manifest that he may destroy put to an end the power of God is still falling I tell you devils are under major attack by Paul's attack the angels are walking don't wait till you fall down receive don't wait till you fall down has nothing to do with falling yeah was a sound that I had in the spirit. That's why I'm singing it. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Bring her. It's time for her deliverance. I command you to come. I command you to come. Don't force her. She will come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come. Come and stand here. Yeah. 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 Listen. A scripture entered my spirit. It said, how all inspiring are your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemy submit when light enters you it makes you a madman tonight is a night of major deliverance major 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 yeah. hallelujah leave her alone Stand there. Stand there. Yeah. 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 Listen. Listen to me. Everybody look at me. Please. The word of God is not a lie. God cannot be joking with you. Anytime you take your Bible, I told God, my life and this ministry will be a demonstration of the book of Acts. It's the Acts of the Holy Ghost. Sarkin Salama Salama It's called the Prince of Peace. Salama Hallelujah. Leave her alone. Be still, stand in one place now. 
Sir King Salama. Your time in this body is over. Your time in this body is over. Now in the mighty name of Jesus. Out of her now. Come out of her. Out of her. Sir King Salama. Out. Come out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. He make it his angel spirits and his ministers flames. Leave her now. She's free. Sarkin Salama. 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 Your time is up. This is Koinonia. The mighty name of Jesus. Come out now. Out of her. Yeah, boy. Listen. Listen. The Lord is showing me an arrow coming from outside this country. This is what affected this boy. This thing has tied this gentleman's life. Leave him. Leave him. Come back here. Come back here. Now. Sorry, everybody. Come back here. Many of you, listen. Many of you do not know that wickedness is real. You have allowed films to, to, to spoil your mind. If you don't take, I tell you, whatever is stopping, one of the things I will be doing tonight is breaking the curse of marital delay. Oh, the devil, it will answer tonight. Look at, it's already happening. Come out. Come out. This guy has a violent spirit. A violent spirit. The mighty name of Jesus. Every lecker hole you have over this body. I challenge you right now. You will leave him. The fire of God is against you. It's time for you to go out. Out of him. Out. Shall the captives be delivered and the prey be taken from the mighty. But thus saith the Lord. Let her go right now. Thou foul devil, come out, come out. So pray, take a paria da baladala. Sarkin Salama, Salama, Salama. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you what the Lord is showing me about this gentleman. This guy, listen, listen, please. This guy has a very, very colorful destiny. But do you know what I just saw? From his head to his toe. How many of you have read the story of Lazarus? That's what I saw. And he was tied with snakes from his head to his toe. This is what I'm seeing right now. See? Do you know that the challenges many of you are going through is not ordinary? It's because nobody has told you. But tonight there is a God to set you free. This is spirit husband. This is what is stopping this lady from getting married. Out. Come out of her. Out now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your time is over. I'm seeing an army officer. I'm army officer. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Shekataba. Brentoko Prikata. Out of her right now. This is the spirit of lust. Go pros ketaliada. 
be gone there is no hiding I tell you something see the mistake the devil made was to allow you come in here tonight I don't care whether you are wherever if you came here tonight if except God lied to us in the Bible but if he told us the truth there will be a performance in your life tonight Sirkin Salama Come out Out of her right now Salama Salama Listen Let me tell you what happens in meetings like this some of you because of this demon spirit the one to start pushing you to go out or to run away you you better stay and let god help you the devil is a liar tonight are you listening to me okay i didn't finish with this guy watch what will happen to this brother he's not looking at me oh. he's not looking at me just calm down. Stay in one place. I'm not speaking to him. Don't, don't worry. Stay in one place. You can't go anywhere. You come here. This is a, the head of a snake I'm seeing. Right to his foot. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Sets you free right now from your head to your toe. I lose you. I lose you. He's going to cough out something outside. Take him outside. He's going to go and cough out something. Sarkin Salama 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 Come out of her right now in the name of Jesus. Devil of darkness. Sarkin Salama there's someone that has a problem a heart problem heart problem that was your request heart something in your heart i don't know what it is the lord is showing me please remember i told you don't waste our time please there's a lot of things we have to do this night heart something pertaining your heart if you are still thinking about it, you are not the person. Please, quickly. Salama, yeah. Salama. Salama, yeah. Hallelujah. Ah, ah. See, there is a lady. Now, don't feel embarrassed at what I'm about to say. You see snakes in your bathroom ladies bathroom who is that person come out come out this has been an issue you have not shared it with people snakes you are you see it who is the person please Salama. Salama, yeah. you are not the only one no you are not the only one this is the problem god god is ready to deliver you look this is a family are you listening to me this is not th this is an apostolic ministry so there is we are here we are a family when god is mentioning your case forget about what what issue of shame issue of shame is out of the way hallelujah what's wrong with your heart asthma, asthma. is asthma really a heart this one i'm seeing a heart problem but I'll pray for you. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. Listen. I'm going to pray for you people. God is doing Come out of her now. Out. Come out of her now. Devil of darkness. The time is up. 
Just hold my hands with both of your hands. The fire of God will hold it as tight as you can. It cannot stand. It will leave you because you are destined for greatness. Once I see it in the spirit, it must go. For light cannot hide in darkness. Aha, I see you now. Out! Go! Go! Kapotoka! Reketaria! Mambroskote! Reketeria daba! Boseketalia! Out! Come out of her! Out of her right now! Sarkin Salama! Look at me. Two things God is doing. Hold my hands. Hold it. Do you believe? You want God to set you free? Sarkin Salama! Look at my eyes. You just look at my eyes. Try to look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Devil of darkness. Go! There is no hiding. For there is a name that is above every other name. What did she come out for? The same thing? Why were you afraid? Don't be afraid, eh? You hear? Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Can you shout Jesus as loud as you can? Go ahead. Salama. You are free. Salama. Salama, yeah. Be delivered right now. I set you free. Now. Do you know what is happening to this lady? If I tell you, some of you will not believe. For every shout that she's making is demons that are going. When she's done, she'll be quiet. <laughs> now, leave her. Fire upon you right now out of her this lady has a great destiny this is a snake this is what i'm seeing this is a whole snake mighty snake the lord is against you let her go now That is above all names. Hold my hands, my dear. Hold my hands. No, I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. Come, hold my hands. I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. You people do not understand spiritual things. You are spiritual people here. Come, hold my hands. The demon knows what it means, what I'm saying. Salama, yeah. Salama. Hurry up, please save our time. We, we don't have much time. Salama. Hold my hands. Don't tap it. Hold it. Out now. Salama, yeah. Salama. Watch the way this demon will live. Come, see. Listen. You will go on your knees. 
you will bow to the king of kings and go simple you will go on your knees bow to the king and off you go Sir King Salama 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 yeah listen this is not jamboree as I see my father do it don't go and try it you will die for nothing this is not child's play hallelujah don't you think we're just no I'm not one of those ministers I can't come and waste your time God is too serious are you listening to me now lift your hands many of you do not know listen please now is the time to stand both for yourself if you are a lady here there is no reason why you should not be lifting your hands marriage is a blessing it's not a curse as I, I as I talk as I talk because you see I, I see a sword of fire leaving my mouth I want to break certain demonic things many of you don't know what is stopping you and your loved ones for some of you is a row in your family many people have told you nothing just just hope one day no we don't do that nonsense in this place now faith is lift your hands hallelujah listen the moment we shout the name Jesus some of you listen you will testify whatever is happening to you here will locate all your loved ones around listen the reason is because there are ordinances of darkness that are keeping some of you your parents took you to places in the name of protection and that devil will not let you go the Lord instructed me to do this hallelujah if you are here or your loved ones there has been delay men come they go or maybe you have a child and you're thinking you will not marry that devil is a liar this night are you listening to me so don't just stand for yourself alone don't say it does not concern me don't be foolish hallelujah are you ready now you will see the demonstration of the power of the spirit Kai, because see i'm seeing blood i'm seeing blood dripping on the ground let me tell you what this means there are covenants and ordinances this is what the lord is showing me but my bible says the blood of jesus speaketh better things better things at the shout of the name jesus the demons responsible for any marital delay god you said if i speak it you will do it right now at the count of three it will hit some of you in a mighty way inside and outside lord let nobody be spared one two three break 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 ushers bring them out ushers bring them out break 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 Break, break, don't go to this. Break, 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 break. The yoke be broken. The yoke be broken. The yoke, I release you. I release you. I release you. I release you. Every cause of marriage over your family. Tonight, be free, be free, be free. Go, don't take at her, don't take at her. Time to get married. Hey, kapa, ba, 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 ba. Bring them out. Don't wait till you come out. The power of God is setting you free where you are. Yes, yes, yes ordinances i'm seeing altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire i set them if i be a servant of god 
right now i set every demonic altar on fire it will burn tonight I release you. I release your family. I release you inside and outside. I release you. I release you into your marital destiny. The curse is lifted. I release your sisters. I release your brothers. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. I release you. I release you. Just receive. I release you. I release you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. I got a text from someone. I mean, they brought someone who was sick. Who was that person? I can't remember now. A sick person. No, they sent, I remember they sent me a text that they would bring the sick person. Please save our time for God's sake. We're still going to minister to the sick. Hallelujah. Let that lady go free. Now devil. Let her go free now. Let her go free. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Let her go free right now. In the name of Jesus hallelujah listen listen everybody say I receive yes it's happening to you now please listen I want to pray for terminal diseases terminal diseases all kinds of terminal diseases please you brought someone or you came here with a terminal disease Come out quickly. Terminal, only terminal diseases. Please, let's save time. Can we do that? God is locating people. There are some of you, God, has, God is already. Terminal diseases. Please come out quickly, quickly. Quickly. I beg you, if you can run, run. Save time, please. Please. As you come out here, say, Lord, it comes. I hope you know what terminal diseases are. to God where that sickness bye bye because it's going forever I'm not afraid I'm not afraid. I'm not 
not afraid. Hilly Ray. Come out of her. Out. Out of her right now. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Hallelujah. Now, all of you, because of time, listen. Can you just hold your hands together if you can? I'll just minister to you at once, please. If you came here believing God, then know that it will end. Hallelujah. There is an angel standing here. And there is an angel of the Lord standing here. Please listen. When we begin to minister to the sick, if we call a case and you came with the person, please make sure you come. Especially if the person cannot speak English for our mothers so that we can hurry up, okay? The power of God will come upon some of you. But it really doesn't matter. That devil is going right now. The spirit is called the spirit of infirmity. Hallelujah. After I count three, you will say, I am healed. When that happens, it's like electricity. It will pass with power all around this place. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Go, Poto. Be free. Go, 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 go. Coming out this is go, go, go. Go, 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 by the fire of the Holy Ghost, go, 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 come back with testimonies, come back with the testimony, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, come back with the testimony. 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 I speak to you, all of you. Come back with the testimony. Come back with the testimony. Hallelujah. Say I'm healed. Go back to your seats. You can check yourselves. Please make sure you check yourself. Go to the hospital if you need. I know someone with HIV was healed. Anyone who has been, anyone with any CG, see the power of God is, is breaking from inside. Some of you are outside here. You are not receiving. People inside are receiving and they are leaving you. Listen. Anyone with any academic issue that Senate has refused to answer between now and the next 14 days, I command them to answer. Anyone who is at the verge of probation, listen, anyone at the verge of probation, I pick you from where you are and I bring you back as a student in this school. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for you. Any cause you did not fail. Listen. See, believe oh, any cause you did not fail, but you went to the board and you saw F. I change it. I said I change it. Man to kapala kuzita. I change it, Kato I change it. Hallelujah. Any man, I don't care who, who is molesting and oppressing people in every in any department or any faculty, whether supervisor or whoever, 
I instruct them to begin to favor you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now listen carefully. Those inside, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm standing out because I want those outside to appreciate this meeting. Now I'm going to pray for you. Some of you, I'm seeing chains on the head. So we are dealing with academic issues now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to lift your hands. Many of you will feel like fire burning your head. If that wait, I'm going to count three. When that happens to you, listen, this one will affect a lot of people. There are some of you that are first class materials. But because of this wicked thing, you were excellent in secondary school. It's not that you are bad. Let me tell you, those days will be restored. Because listen, listen, listen. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. When I count three, inside and outside, with all your heart, shout, I receive. For some of you, that will be the last thing you will remember. Something will happen to you that will change your life. Are you ready now? Please, with all faith. One, two, three. Receive it now. Receive it. Take it. I restore you. Take it. 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 Inside. Inside. Take. Receive it inside. Receive it inside. Outside. Receive it. Receive it inside. Take it inside. Take it inside. At the back. Inside. The angel of the Lord is touching people at the back outside here. At the back, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Many of you will go back now and your academics will surprise you. Hallelujah. Now listen. 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 I want all of you to think about a cause that has been troubling you because I'm about to make it to bow now. Just listen, listen. I'm working as God is just just think of it in your mind just once and bring it under the lordship of Christ because I'm about to op I'm about to tell it to open up for you. Are you ready? It's already happening to this sister. Now listen, every department, every faculty in Amadubelo University, that course that is threatening you right now, when I shall bow, many of you feel as if your head will open up. Are you ready now? In the name of Jesus, bow! 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 In the name of Jesus, bow! Bow in faculty of medicine, bow faculty of engineering, bow environmental design, bow education, bow. My God. Social sciences, bow sciences, bow. All the faculties in Congo bow. Every other faculty bow. Anyone with a missing script, problem of missing script, I stand tonight under this unction and I command wherever your paper is, where except you didn't write that exam, wherever your paper is, just as the donkey of Kish was found. I command that paper to be found now. Yeah. Hallelujah. For all those whose assessments have been bad, listen, for this exam, for all those whose assessments have been bad, have been, are bad, in the name of Jesus, I release makeup test, makeup assignment in the name of Jesus. May the Lord touch the hearts of the lecturers, no matter how hard they are. Hallelujah. 
All of you shout, I will excel. Say it one more time, I will excel. Say, excellence is my portion. Say, I refuse failure. Say, I refuse failure. I take you from pass, from third class. I take you into, some of you are at trusting, let me tell you, any class you need to step up, I step you up right now. I know some of you are doubting. Do not doubt the creative power of God's word. It created the heavens and earth. I said I step you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all those, whether you or your loved one, they've been writing jam after jam, wayek after wayek. You are looking for papers, it has refused to come. If God be God, if there is a God in this place, listen, those of you who are about to, whether jam, whether DE, you have papers that you need to make up. I stand as a servant of God. I give you the paper you are looking for. Those writing jam, I prophesy, write your last jam in the name of Jesus. Those writing whether wayek or whatever to make up. And there are some of you who are about graduating. But the papers you have are causing trouble. And right now you already have a problem at the Senate. Mercy. 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 You must graduate. You must graduate. Let something be done in your life that has not been done in this school. God is visiting people. Thank you, Jesus. God is opening people's files, I tell you. God is visiting people. Don't stand there doubting. God will bless others and leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything called mental blockage or exam fever, all this nonsense that comes on people, you will read and even do tutorial for others. In the name of Jesus. That spirit that makes you to forget things in the exam hall that you will only remember after you finish right right now I cast that spirit in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus you cannot read like a slave I forbid you from reading like a slave in the mighty name of Jesus I tell you, God is visiting people in a mighty way this night. God is visiting people in a mighty way. Hallelujah. In your academics, I don't care how bad it has been. I don't care what has happened from today. Step into that, that dream you saw, that your, your results has never looked like it. You have been seeing it. Enter the reality of it. Many of you have dreams. You see four points, but you write exam and see one point. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, God is visiting people. Hallelujah. Now, please, everybody who is sick. You came here with any kind of disease. I'm about to rebuke it right now, please. We don't have time. Our time is fast spent. But God is going to visit inside. Are you still with me? Are you still with me inside? Now, those outside here, I want, I want to pray. Everybody lay your hands anywhere it's hurting. If it's a part of your body, you cannot lay your hands on, lay your, hands on your chest. Whether fibroids, whether growths, whether cancer, whether blindness, whether deafness, whether lameness, whatever it is, I don't care. If it followed you here, it made a mistake because it's going to leave you right now. Are you listening to me? Some of you, what you call sickness is actually oppression. Because I see that there are many ladies with all kinds of sicknesses. 
people think you are careless you are not that devil will leave you hallelujah some of you have hiv it's not like you slept around you too you don't know how it came some of you have all kinds of cancerous growth there are people they've told you 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 cannot I, I, after i finish this i'm going to specially pray for barren people hallelujah praise god now listen all of you inside lift your hands lift your hands for that healing i'm going to count three and the power of god will begin to come on sick people just those inside those inside hallelujah the angels of god are moving inside i see them at the count of three inside i tell you many sicknesses will disappear right now the moment i count three just take that hand and lay it where it's hurting and start receiving your miracle are you ready one two three receive right now take it by the power of the holy ghost now lay your hands there receive your healing right now receive your healing right now many of you are feeling like electricity is the healing anointing of the holy spirit is going through you begin to do what you couldn't do before those outside now lay your hands there are you ready to receive that devil will not follow you now in the name of jesus those outside here receive receive your healing receive your healing growth disappear terminal diseases go asthma go asthma go every deaf ear be open now every blind eyes be open if your hair and one leg is shorter than the other let the other one grow out now to equal sizes in the name of jesus every lady problem every woman problem irregular menstruation ends now 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 the fire of god is burning i tell you the fire of god is burning every lump in the breast disappears now disappears now disappears now every growth in any part of your body every growth i cause that growth to its root right now in the name of jesus i cause that growth to its root right now in the name of jesus thank you jesus any pain in any area of your body i rebuke it any trace of mental disorder whether for you or for your loved ones wherever they are and if you are here let the power of god touch you now let the fire of god touch you now let the fire of god touch you now let them go let them go out 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 every kind of mental problem whether it has manifested or not out 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 go go every curse every covenant thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah now any woman here or your sister or you who has been barring please connect now is the time we want to release miracle children right now i don't know whether they have been barren for 10 years 20 years 30 years the bible says and god opened the womb of anna listen i want you to stand you are a lady here you live the promiscuous life and then you found out that okay some things happened maybe you lost your womb or something god is about to give you a new one right now i don't care what the problem is hallelujah praise god I want to curse barrenness and impotency low sperm count all this demonic infertility whatever I, I don't care if it has a name is going to answer this night are you ready everybody inside make sure you are with me hallelujah praise the lord whether for you or for your loved ones right now my father in the name that is above all names lift your hands i pray there are some of you listen some of you do not know that there are already projections of barrenness on you it's just that you have not married yet so don't say until you are married the devil is wicked 
God brought you to set you free. You'll be surprised. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, you're going to shout Jesus. And God is going to visit some people. There are some of you, God will visit you not for you, but on behalf of other family members. And I tell you, you will see people take in. Are you listening to me? Do you believe this? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus and you'll see what will happen. Are you ready? Thank you, Holy Ghost. At the count of three, let your power move across inside and outside. Are you ready? This will happen to many people because there is the curse of barrenness. And standing for anybody at the count of three, shout it with all your heart. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, Supokoto, Rekete Keriata, Barriness, go, 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 inside, inside, fire, fire is falling inside, outside, fire is falling, the cause of barrenness, Tokoto Peketa, for your loved ones, every barren woman, receive children, receive children, receive children, any impotency, Whatever it is, low sperm count, infertility, whatever it is in the name of Jesus, I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Please stay with me. Sita kapala Zimbato cross to palakato hallelujah i want to pray and prophesy we want to talk on the issue of finances right now everybody stand up and take this very seriously we apologize for the lightning i believe that maybe some hitches here and there we'll soon round up hallelujah while this is happening please let's have all the prayer requests outside here look at me see listen look up the secret of financial blessing is in your giving life are you listening to me i don't care what you are doing the secret if you are not a giver whatever you are seeing now is only a deceit it won't last are you listening to me i want to minister to you how many of you know that god is not glorified in anybody's poverty how many of you are tired of the situation of some of your family members you know you know what some of your parents one job here two months they've driven them away this is a curse the problem is that pastors like sugar coating things they just say oh it's well there is a difference between faith and foolishness hallelujah praise the lord now i want to challenge you everybody please hold a seat bring out a seat you know us in this place if you don't believe don't bring it out i want to break the curse of poverty don't you think please i i if you have something share with your neighbor please 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 bring out a seat don't mumble and grumble just keep your seat back please we are a blessed people we are a blessed people look at me look at me sister look at me tell her to look at me Look at me. Just tell her to look at me. Don't worry. Leave her. Look at me. Come out of her. Devil of darkness. Ah, leave you alone. Praise God. See, while I was praying for this meeting, I saw this please listen i saw a particular family this is a revelation that the lord showed me and i saw them around the river hallelujah around the river with 500 naira i don't know I, i'm not going to mention them so that you don't think maybe i'm talking about a church or a ministry we don't do that but i saw some people seeming men of god or whatever around that they were trying to do something about financial prosperity you see that they killed chicken they killed one other animal i think goat or something and they were invoking things on the person and the lord said save this family i saw it in the vision that the lord showed me 
there is nothing we will do here that God did not instruct. Hallelujah. Please, if you do not have a revelation of this, keep your money. You won't go to hell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bring out something and connect it. I want to pray for you. You will lift it up. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, just lift it up. People are oppressed. Ah, people are oppressed. Listen, just lift it. Many of you, the fire will fall on you and your sacrifice. It will fall on you. See, it's poverty I want to attack. It's a spirit. Don't be mistaken about it. It's already happening to people. Everybody lift it. Please, make sure there is a seed. It will be your contact. Clash the symbol for me, please. At the clash of the symbol. Are you ready now? My father, I pray, it's your desire to prosper us. People have suffered. Families have suffered. Right now, spirit of poverty, go, go, go. Keep the offering up. Go, 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 go. For your family, I burn that spirit of poverty. It's a cause. Leave God's people. Poverty causes laziness. Poverty causes lack of failure. Lift your seed. It's your sacrifice. My God and my King. If God be God, I pray poverty be broken. In the name of Jesus, be broken. So protocoto reketekete rekoto preketeka jobless go 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 Hallelujah to me my people made a covenant with me by sacrifice. I command doors of uncommon, unusual, inexplainable, financial prosperity. Let it be open now for you and for your family. That joblessness ends now. Mm, God is visiting families. God is visiting families. Any contract that has been revoked right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, I return it back to your loved ones. The curse of poverty be broken. Don't say I'm a student. Become rich in the name of Jesus. Become rich, blessed, wealthy. I program your spirit as surely as the Lord lives. God is visiting people. Twenty-one angels standing in this place. I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it, the whole of this place. The whole of this place lift your hands because god is about to visit you some of you it's not just financial issues god will join everything and visit you as soon as i shout receive it right from here down to this row this is what god is showing me the power of god will come in a strong way lift your hands all of you in the name of jesus at the count of two just two the wind will blow one two let it blow right now. Take it. 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 Don't wait till you fall. This has nothing to do with falling. It has nothing to do with falling. Receive by faith. Hallelujah. The Lord is visiting people. I don't know what the case is, 
But when I touch you, just know God is visiting you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The angels of the Lord are pointing people to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Aha. Now, out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Shekotopa. Your time is up. Your spirit. Out. Out now. Pain go. Come out. Supokotopekata likata. Don bretons kebanda kriata. Lord, visit them. Ushers, help me. Visit them. Please help them. Help them. Ushers, so that they don't fall down one another. Visit them. Visit them. Zidaba. God is visiting your mother right from the States. Oh, no, in UK. God is visiting her right now. Hallelujah. Madam. God is about to locate you. Stand up, please. Stand up. Your time of breakthrough has come. Come and stand here, please. I don't know you, but look at me. Three things the Lord is going to do for you. Number one, God is going to change your financial story in a way that will surprise you. Number two, who is sick? Somebody is seriously sick in your family. It's my husband. I have. It's your husband. Because this is what I'm seeing. This is what is sugar? Sugar. Yes, yes. What is sugar? What is sugar? I'm hearing sugar. Diabetes. Diabetes. Yes. Do, do I know him? Have I met your husband? I'm hearing sugar. The Holy Spirit is telling me sugar. Diabetes. Is that correct? I'm, I'm BP. BP. I'm BP. Look at me. The third thing God is going to do. Uh, are you building? Are you building? Madam, look at me. Are you... Yes. The Lord is saying that building will be completed. Yeah. These three things. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because you have lifted this seed. Many of you, see. Father, visit her right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit families by the power of the Holy Ghost. Visit families. In the name of Jesus. See, I tell you, I'm not going to touch everybody. But if I do touch you, just know that God has visited you. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Bring this sister for me, this one. Yes, come. Did I lay hands on you? It's time for God to visit you. Are you listening to me? Take it. It's over. Whatever it is, it's over. Right now. This fair lady, come, please. I don't know what is it. Come. Don't see. You people should not be angry at God. God, it, I must not touch you. Do you understand? You can see that we don't have all of the time. Eh? Look at me. I'm going to end a lot of things in your life. Seven things in total. One by one, God is going to show you. Five of them. You wrote, you wrote seven prayer points. Yes, sir. How many did you, seven. The Lord says seven things is visiting you and is bringing on. Was I there when you wrote it? Seven things you wrote. Seven things the Lord is visiting them. Lord, that is it. It ends right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Seven things the Lord is visiting you. Somebody wrote 13 prayer points. 13. 13. 13. You wrote 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13. Who is that? Come. You are the one. Come. Was I there when you were writing it? 13 prayer points. 13 prayer points. What did you write about your father? My family. Yes. Peace in my family. Peace in your family. There is fight. Was I there when you wrote it? What did you write about the issue of money? Last week when I went home, my sister was complaining that there is... Because I'm seeing the Lord is showing me your prayer points. That's why I'm reading it to you. Was I there? There's no money. You went home. Even transport to come back. Follow somebody. Somebody gave me a lift. This is, I, I, God said I should do it to prove to you that this is not just guesswork. My God, in the name of Jesus, locate this lady. Your situation ends once and for all. Regina, 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 Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Ah. No, Regina. Don't miss your miracle. You are Regina. You. Ah. No, this Regina is here. 
Your name is Regina. Where's your mother? She's in Lagos. What's wrong with her? I don't know. Pray for your mother. Huh? Because this is an attack I'm seeing on her. Huh? This is an attack I'm seeing on her. Be careful. Don't let any lecturer talk stories and ask you to come and visit him in the night. Does it make sense to you? Yes, sir. Does it make sense to you? Believe it. Huh? And then get into God with all your heart. Are you listening to me? I want to pray for you. This lackadaisical Christian attitude become a genuine Christian right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Grace to pray. Grace. Taiwo. God is visiting your mother. Just look at me. God is visiting your mother. Lord, visit her in the name of Jesus Christ. Right from here. Just as a point of contact, God is touching her in Lagos. Visit her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visit her. This, this girl, eh? Bring this lady crying. Lord, end this captivity in the name of Jesus. This lady's family do a lot of diabolic things. Are you listening to me? And they have put they have put things in this girl as a medium. This girl you are seeing, she's not the person you are seeing standing here. Hmm? This girl is very old. She's not as young as you are seeing, as in, I mean in the spirit realm. I'm seeing somebody that is up to 800 years old. Hallelujah. Are you seeing? Look at, look at this. Bring her. This is what is wrong. They, they invoke spirits of ancestors into this girl. Come and stand here. Because they did it in such a way. Listen. They did it in such a way. And this is the invocation. That no matter how much you are a man of God, you will not see it. This is what they did. Look at. I've seen it. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Look at. This is why this cry is happening. They, they programmed it. I don't know how it is. Many men of God have attended to this lady. They didn't see it. I don't know why. Because as I'm standing now, I'm seeing a tree. This is a tree I'm seeing. A very tall tree. Keep quiet. This lady, you see, she doesn't even know if this lady gets angry, she can beat even five guys put together. Are you listening to me? She, 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 I mean, beat you and put you on the ground that you will cry. Even her, right from a small age, she has been seeing this strange power. This is not normal. I need to rebuke that. Some of you are like that. You just think it's your family. You beat all your classmates in nursery school. Beat all your classmates. In. You are happy about it. Hallelujah. I have to set this girl free. I'm seeing rings on her legs, rings on her hands, huh? ring on her eyes, even on her eyes here. Yeah. What kind of nonsense is this rubbish thing? Hmm? Keep quiet. This noisy spirit. You will go out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hmm? Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Huh? Two of us won't be talking. You are going to leave. There is a legal access that is given to you. But the Bible says the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. And listen, leave her. Please leave her. Don't hold her. Look at me. Listen. Behave yourself right now. I'm going to rebuke this some it will create a ripple effect on all our family members because they mentioned their names as they were killing chicken this is what i'm seeing one by one they will mention their names and kill chicken leave her leave her leave her leave her come back just leave her she will come back by herself 
This thing is more than 800 years. This is what I'm telling you. Am I wasting your time? Am I wasting your time? Leave her, leave her. When she's done, she'll come and stand here. These are demonic things. Don't be distracted by all this drama. Let's concentrate on what God is doing, please. Mama, come. Come and stand here. Your time of visitation has come. I don't know what you came here for. Eh? Your time of... What did you come here for? You are barren. Is that... Yes, sir. You are barren. How many years? 13 years. I'm seeing one and three. Mm -hmm. How many years? 13 years. 13 years. You have been barren. Your, your, your situation has come to an end. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your stomach. What did the doctors tell you is in your stomach? Nothing. They will do scan. Nothing. But you are feeling movement in your body. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. In the night when you are sleeping, it will be as if a man wants to sleep with you. Yes, sir. A man comes to sleep yes, and it has even affected your relationship. Yes, sir. Eh? You don't even have affection for him. Yes, yes. Do you know me? No. Sir. Have you ever seen me? No. Your time of freedom has come this night. Because this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a stone, a stone inside your stomach. You used to have pain when you sleep. Sharp pain. This is a stone I'm seeing. Hmm? This thing is a demonic thing. Lay your hands. I open this womb right now. Let the womb take in by the power of... Take it right now. All right, it's time for you to go. Now, in the name of Jesus, I challenge you, come and stand here. There's no time. See, demons can distract. If you waste time on them, they are going to distract you. Are you listening to me? All these things are distractions. Learn this. This is not just a place to receive. It's a place to learn. Many people focus. I'm not against all of but it's not necessary. We don't have all of this time. Are you listening to me? Come and stand here. Quickly, come and stand here. It was finance, right? Okay. Let God solve somebody's problem right now. Listen. I release you into financial blessings. 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 Into financial blessings. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes is going to come. Bishop Stan is going to come. They are going to speak prophecies into you. Hallelujah. I wish we had time. But as they speak, please receive. Hallelujah. They will speak while I go up there. When they are done, we'll come and pray on your request. Can you wait a few more minutes? Can you wait a few minutes? Pastor Jackson. Okay. Please, ushers, just cast your offering. Cast your offering quickly. Ushers, all over. If there are no ushers, just be patient. Inside and outside. Please make sure you drop your money to only ushers. Hallelujah. Please lift up your hands. There's no time. Joining hands with Bishop and as we pray, whatever you desire, okay? Whatever giftings you've been trusting God to unlock in your life, whatever dimension of God you've been trusting God to push you into, as we pray corporately, the presence of God, and the oil of God will be poured upon you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Even as you have declared through your servant. Lord, as we cast this seed, may it be an end to poverty and financial hardship. In the name of Jesus. You cause doors to be opened. For every family represented here in Jesus' name. We stand in agreement and rebuke devourer in the name of Jesus. Devourers in form of sickness, in form of accident, we rebuke you in Jesus' name. We set everyone free. Enter into your financial liberty 
in the name of Jesus. Marital liberty in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me invite the ministers as we pray on the request. If you've not written your request, please write it here quickly. I want to, after this, I'm going to be inviting Uneko and his wife who are going to be dedicating and praying for their child. Hallelujah. And any other woman with child here, you're going to come out with your child. We're going to pray and speak protection after I do that very quickly. Hallelujah. Please. Very quickly. Stretch your hands while you are seated. You don't need to stand up. Stretch your hands as we pray on this request. Go ahead and pray. Father, we pray that you visit your people. Visit your people, oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, visit families. In the name of Jesus. Grant every spiritual blessing that your people are asking for. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray that every prayer point here, Lord, is answered in the name of Jesus. We release the angels of God to bring answers and solutions to needs in the name of Jesus. Let breakthroughs come, academic blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for businesses. We ask that prayer points here about businesses, that the Lord will open up doors in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for healing. We release the healing of God upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring salvation into your family. The Lord visits your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord blesses you with peace, joy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Refreshing comes from the presence of the Lord. Refreshing comes from the presence of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every closed gate is open in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every dark cloud is rolled away in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We celebrate you in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. All the children, quickly, quickly. Please save time. We just have about five minutes or so and we're out of. Celebrate them as they come if you know God will give you children. Please come and line up here quickly, quickly. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, let me pray. Please, Uneku, come up with your wife. How many of you remember them? Worship team. Come on, celebrate your own. Technical, celebrate your own too. See, they're all seated together. Is that where they met? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody stretch your hands towards them. This baby is a miracle baby. I tell you. I was there in the hospital. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I said, where is the baby? Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and pray. Rebuke the hand of Satan. Do it as though you are praying for your own child. Rebuke the hands of Satan. This baby is blessed. Growing normally. Daddy and mommy are healthy. In the name of Jesus. We dedicate this child in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. This child will grow in wisdom, in stature, 
and in favor with God and with men. We command this child to be an ambassador. We program his destiny to glorify Christ alone. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for peace in this house. This will only be the first child and not the only child. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Jakes and Bishop Stan, can I invite you just to come and lay hands on these children? Hallelujah. As we lay hands, all three of us will lay hands. You just lay hands. I'll come back and lay hands on them. As we lay hands on the children, we rebuke the hands of Satan. We rebuke the hands of Satan. No, let me lay hands on them before they go. We are, we are doing it, all of us, please. Very quickly, these are instructions that God is giving. We are not just doing these things carelessly. Any child, any one child that has anything that is not of God, we cancel it right now. We cancel it right now. Eh? In the name of the Lord Jesus, may the Lord visit this child. Let his hearing be perfected. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. See how wicked Satan can be. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. These children are blessed. Where is he? Bring him. The boy ran away. Because this boy wants to kill himself. It's the spirit that wants to kill him. Where is he? I tell him to stand but he went. You see what I told you spirits. He ran away to where? Wherever he is right now. In the name that is above all names. May the Lord visit him. You will go back and you will come and testify. Hmm? I'm seeing the fire of God on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord visits him. You are standing on his behalf. In Jesus name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Uh -uh. Come out of this girl. Devil of darkness. May the Lord bless you. Madam, God is really visiting your family. May the Lord. Uh, you came out for yourself. Or for your child. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I prophesy upon your life. Please stand up, everybody. Be rounding up now. Every closed door in the name that is above all names, I open it right now. Every door of failure and disappointment in the mighty name of Jesus, let that door be open now. I pray right now. Any voice that is speaking against you and your destiny, I command those voices to be silenced right now. Whatever is stopping your spiritual development, whatever is stopping your passion for God, one leg in, one leg out, I pray, I release encounters to your life. Encounters with angels. Encounters of heaven. Visions and revelations. Dramatic encounters with Jesus Christ. I pray for the spirit of prayer. May it come upon you in a mighty way. Who is this? Oh, see the boy is back. Come. Look at me. How are you? The Lord will set you free. Eh? You love Jesus. Look at me, look at me. You love Jesus. Do you like what happens to your life? Huh? Are you tired of it? Look at me. Are you tired of it? Eh? You want to be free from it? Eh? Madam, it's not this boy that is doing these things. Are you listening to me? This is a suicidal spirit. Eh? This is demonic. Because this boy is destined to be great. Are you seeing? And this is why the devil wants to destroy him. Hmm? Look at me, my brother. Why did you go away? Okay doesn't even know why he left. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness, your time in this boy's body is over. The fire of the Holy Ghost against you. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you right now. Who is Bulus? It's his uncle. Bulus is his uncle. Do, you, do I know Bulus? Where is he? Hold my hands. Father, I pray that the wickedness of men will not catch up with this boy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my God and my King, I pray for a dramatic visitation. Look at me. Look at me. Go to church. Join a fellowship. Huh? These bad guys that are around you, they will destroy you. I cancel your appetite for them. They are, they, are trying to, they are trying to introduce you into wheat and all of this nonsense. You will not have appetite for any of these things. Hmm? You will become an obedient and a respectful child. This hardened heart this night has been replaced with the heart of stone. Salvation comes to this family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rahila. Who is Rahila? Do you know anybody called Rahila? What is, I mean, well, I'm hearing the name Rahila. This is your daughter? Come. How are you, my dear? Hold my hands. See a mystery. I'm going to be praying for you. But is that your sister that is going, hold, hold on, don't tell me. I don't want you to tell me. Hmm? Don't tell me, don't worry. That's your sister, dear. I'm seeing light. It's leaving you and it's entering. I'm going to pray for you, but the prayer is going to affect her. Hold my hands. I set you free right now. I set you free right now. Lose, lose her from that chain. Be loose right now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit. There is deliverance going on in your family right now. I don't know why this is happening, but God is bringing you. Through. Thank you, Jesus. Brother, look at me. Please be a gentleman, okay? Be a gentleman. Love God. Be serious with your life. You are a healer. Okay. Well, you came out. Let me pray for you. The, the Lord is not giving me anything exactly. What do you want the Lord to do for you? Ah, you don't know. I'll just pray generally for you. Go. Is that okay? Lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I command favor to your life. I command favor. Favor. Favor is one blessing that the Lord has given us here. I release it into your life right now. Yeah. Whatever has been a challenge for you, may God speak it. Yeah. Listen, when God speaks over your situation, that's all it ends. If you are here, I didn't call your case, but you came with an expectation right now in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you at that point of your need. Yeah. Every habit here that is not of God, masturbation, pornography, all of these devilish things that are destroying people, I cast it out of your life forever. I cast it out of your life forever. It will not return again. I cast it out. I cast it out of your life. Every form of immorality that stops you from entering the dimension God wants to take you, I release grace upon you. To walk in genuine holiness and purity. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your parents and your loved ones. As God visits you here, may he visit them. As God visits you here, may he visit them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we step into the seventh month, may it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. What you have not accomplished from January to June, accomplish it in July. 
I command promotion. I command promotion. All of you in ministry, I pray that you will see a greater anointing in your ministries. I release greater fire in your fellowships, in your churches, in your ministries. Let devils be casted out. Let the sick be healed. Let sinners be saved in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command increase and expansion for ministries here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All of you planning for marriage, I command whatever resource you need, I release it for you. Even if the man has not come, I bring him into your life. Even if the woman has not come, I bring her into your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, inside and outside, this is an opportunity for those who have never given their hearts to the Lord. Please stand up. Everybody keep standing, please. Hallelujah. The greatest miracle that can happen in this place is that you are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. You have seen the miracles and all of these things. But there are many of us that need to make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And right now, as we begin to clap, I'll count one to five. Praise God. Inside and outside, please give them space. Inside and outside. I want you to come before the Lord here. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.